got a Marantz here. It's a model 4230. Uh, I got this out of an attic. I was painting uh, some people's house and uh, and they had this upstairs and it was absolutely coated in um, lovely dust. Um, this has been cleaned out. Um, it actually had something on top of it so this area wasn't but the front was just coated. Um, it had been up there for I would say probably a good 10 years. Um, and this has been cleaned uh, deoxided and also de deoxided with D100 and um, also I put D5 on there which is um, it, it protects after you um, after you clean all the pots so we'll listen to that in a second or we'll listen to the potentiometers uh, make sure that they don't have any kind of uh, residual static or anything um, I'm going to push the power on here and you'll notice also there's a light out right here um, let's see, let's just kind of go through the machine here. We've got some scratches on the knobs. All, on all the knobs except for one set knobs, you can see. Scratches on all the knobs. This one seems to be the only one that might have a little bit of scratch here, but mostly clean. Um, this one also has something on it or the paint is has been rubbed out. Actually, I'm going to turn this music off for a second just so I can talk. Um, so, um, so anyway, so if you look right here, you can see there's some sort of either white stuff or it's just paint that's been rubbed. Probably paint that's been rubbed. I tried to take a little detergent um, and rub it out. Uh, and pull it off and, and nothing happened so but it didn't scrape off any more paint or anything so I'm not sure what that is um, we've got your high filter your loudness FM muting is off right now you can either choose your main or your remote speakers or both um, obviously we're gonna use just the main stereo I don't have anything that would be quadraphonic so I can't really show that off it also does not have the decoder on the bottom um, and you'll hear that when I switch to SC SQ decoder, you'll actually hear it click and not make any noise. Um, you also have your Dolby right here. So there's the little Dolby light. Um, that's for play and record. So if you are doing something analog, and I'm not doing analog right now because almost all my analog stuff either went to the dump or including a bunch of Nakamichis that I tried to sell and nobody bought them here on eBay. Um, and um, uh, and uh, and also a, a reel to reel, but that was part of the gig with my wife, so it was tough. But I had to do it. We got your source and your tape. Obviously, we're just going to hit source, tape one and two. Um, the stuff that we're going to be listening to is actually some Creative Commons music. This is the um, Creative Commons ten European mix or Europe mix number eight. Oh, this is this song is number eight. So um, this has a bunch of different songs from European Creative Commons artists, so that's great. Um, and we're playing this on um, Model 70s, some EPI Model 70s, which only have about six inch drivers for their um, for for um, the uh, the bass. So there might be some distortion. This is a 30 watt machine, but don't be fooled. It's 30 watt per channel uh, in quadraphonic mode. It's 12 watt per channel. There's a switch on the back that'll show you. We've got some problems on top that I want to point out. Uh, there's a scratch. Actually, this is probably better to show you from the other side, and that's what I'll do. Um, the sides look great. I don't see any issues with the sides. Um, you do see some scratches here, here. There's some rubbing here. You can kind of see when I see that, the rubbing right there. Scratch, scratch. There was another scratch that I tried to point out earlier right there. Um, so it's not a perfect looking machine. Here are some of the other issues. It looks like somebody tried to get into this, or not get into this, maybe they thought that, that they didn't have to take the top off and was or they were trying to take the back off. I'm not sure why they would do that. Um, my initial thought when I saw these screws, there's a screw that's stripped here and a screw that's missing right here. My initial feeling was that maybe something was wrong with this unit and they were trying to uh, remove, but when I, I took everything out, this stuff inside was clean. There was a, a box on top of it that came about right here. Um, 
and so that box is on top of here. That probably caused the rubbing, maybe. Um, and then there was dust all on here, probably for a good 10 years worth of dust. So, um, but anyways, so those, and then um, the other two, or the other big issues are right here. Um, big in that they're cosmetic, but um, there's a cap for these two push buttons, and both of them are missing. So you might be able to pull one off here and put it on there. I'm going to go ahead and let the end user do that. Everything else looks clean. I've cleaned it up. Like I said, I also cleaned all the potentiometers. Um, AM, uh, I do not get AM, and if you've watched any of my other videos, and if you haven't, go ahead and watch them now, or after this. Um, I talk about how I'm, I'm just far enough that I just don't get any AM stations, or I might get maybe two. This uh, particular AM antenna, probably even AM uh, receiver, probably is not the strongest. So, but anyways, that is the physical condition of it. Oh, there's uh, there's rust on this nut right here, or this this screw right here, um, and there's a little bit on here too. Um, I didn't see any water damage or anything on the insides, but um, you know when it sits and it gets dusty, I'm sure that kind of holds condensation, and so those two got um, got hit. Um, but anyways, yeah. Oh, and then I don't know if I said this, but the light right there. So you can see that one of the lights is missing. And I don't have time, resources, or or care to get it done. I should I shouldn't say care <laughs> because it, actually I do care, um, but I don't have the time to do that. I'm moving, and this stuff has to be gone before I move in a month's time. So um, I'll mess around with these when we're listening to music, um, the Creative Commons music, not the FM, but we'll start with FM just so you can kind of hear the the FM channels. Uh, like I said, I've got FM muting off, so I can get a bunch more channels. And as you see... The sunrise. And I know that sounds cheesy. But think about it in the order. The receiving unit there should have probably let that ball go. Because there it we was... go. We've got the Iron Bowl today. All this weekend, 95.7 Jams is your fifth. America Collection is a great family. As you can see, the dial works as it should. It moves through the stations quickly. Stereo does come up. It was actually up on that last channel, I think, before, but it's not showing up this time. And there's this one. The big companies are going to do it. The Comcasts of the world. I gotta be careful with that, like I said, but we'll have plenty of fun with music that hasn't been protected by copyright. So, um, and we'll go ahead and start that now. Let's see what we're gonna listen to. Um, I've got um, another song going on on another one called Fragile Meadow, so we'll we'll avoid that. But actually, there's two videos that uh, that I'm associating with this for the eBay um, ad or the eBay auction. So let's go here. Let's see if this works. going to happen with these smaller drivers at higher levels. And notice right now, notice that I've got it at about a quarter, and this is, that's way loud for my room. So 30 watts is nice for a regular size room. This room is actually two rooms, it's my kitchen and my, and my dining room. So. Um, and also there's a huge room in the other room, and I can hear this outside when I had it playing earlier today, so.
decoder. Obviously, I don't have the decoder on there, so that's useless to me. But it really doesn't matter because I don't have anything that's quadraphonic anyways. And you'll see the stereo thing comes back up. The, the stereo light comes back on up. And let's go ahead and flip these. And you can hear. There we go. In this case, Dolby came up. That's for recording, so if I was recording right now, obviously I'd be monitoring. And there's the left, I'm sorry, the right, and the left. So you only have one signal um, VU meter for both the right and left. And loudness is on, that's why that bass sounds like that. Choose another album. A little oboe to start the day. A little bit less bass, this might be better. Imaging on this, right here at least, I can hear it in the center, and you'll hear like an instrument hit in the center, which is pretty cool. But that's what you get a Moran score. So that's it, the Marantz Model 4230. It's a signature Marantz sound. Um, we just had Dolby on that whole time, I just realized. Um, but it's a good, good sounding um, unit. Looks good. It looks good, I would say. It doesn't look great. It wouldn't be one of your perfect units, but it looks great um, in a stereo cabinet or, or on top of that, especially if you've got a wood um, case for it. So if you have any questions about the music, or if you have any questions about the Morants, more importantly, you can hit me up on eBay.